and body, I'm in a forest and I want you to have a little think about some creatures that would live in this habitat. There's some squirrels, maybe some birds, but let's start thinking about some smaller creatures, those mini beasts that you've just looked at. Today we are going to be going on a micro habitat hunt. Micro habitat. A micro habitat is a smaller habitat that exists in a certain area. So for example, the habitat that I am in and this squirrel is in at the moment is called the forest. This is a woodland habitat and they like everything here. They have food, they have their shelter, their needs are met in this woodland habitat. A squirrel would not survive in a habitat like a desert because that has different needs. It wouldn't provide the food, it wouldn't provide enough water and it might be a little bit too hot for a, a creature like a squirrel. Now in our habitat of a forest there are lots and lots of creatures. So we have the bigger ones like the squirrel and the birds that we can see but there are many others that are living all around us that we don't always see. So I'd like you to have a think of different places where perhaps smaller creatures like mini beasts might live in this woodland area. So here we have a rotting piece of wood. Nobody put this log here. This has fallen and he's decaying. Decaying means it's rotting on the forest floor. What can you see on the log? I can see some fungus growing. I can see some holes, which suggests to me that something is in here that there's some creatures that are living in this rotting wood. Okay. So when you are doing this, you need to be very careful because there are going to be creatures that are living under here and we don't want to disturb them too much. We want to make sure that after we've had a look, we put any creatures back and we put the log back as best we can to make sure that those creatures haven't been disturbed too much and aren't open to being eaten by predators. So let's have a look, I'm going to gently, I've got my gloves on to protect my fingers, and I'm going to gently roll the log. It's very muddy and wet under here. It's very dark for creatures to live. Oh, I... so under this log, I have revealed some more fungus that is growing. And this suggests to me that the fungus is liking the damp conditions. But let's have a closer look at what we can see. I can see several slugs. There's one here, I don't know if you can see that. One here. We've got about three over there. So we've got three slugs that are loving this micro habitat because it is dark, moist, damp. Oh, let's have a little look here. What is that, do you think? To me, that looks like an earwig or something similar and that is loving the life under the damp dark log. I can also see some wood lice and these are animals that live underneath in dark damp conditions and enjoy eating the wood from the rotting log. I think I can also see the top of a worm. But I'm not going to touch that, so that can okay. stay there. So once you have looked underneath your log and in your micro habitat, you need to put it exactly back how you found it. Because otherwise the creatures that are living under might be open to danger. So I'm going to gently roll it back over until I can feel that's exactly where it was because it's gone back into the ledge. Habitat that you might choose to have a look at is underneath some bark. So unlike the log we looked at earlier that was rotting and decaying, this tree is very much alive. It has no leaves on, remember, because of the time of year. But in the summer, this will have beautiful leaves. So this tree is alive, but underneath the bark, there might be some creatures living. So I don't want to take too much off because like I say, oh, can we see this red spider that is living underneath? the bark on this tree. 
I wonder why that spider chooses to live in an environment like this. What is special about that bark for the spider to live there? Perhaps there's the food, the shelter. Think of all of those things that we learnt last week in our science lesson and the things that creatures need to survive. How can you apply that to this spider that is living underneath the bark on this tree? But remember, you must ask your adult before you do any of this mini-based micro habitat.